All right, so lesson 52. All right, so today we're going to be using unit multipliers to convert measures and converting mixed unit to single unit measures. So we're going to do a couple different things. And you're going to find this useful pre-algebra because when we do this, you do it again in algebra, and you'll do it again in physics in high school, and you'll do it in chemistry. So this is good foundational stuff because you're going to see this happening quite often, more than once. So we want to make sure that you get it straight. And the key to unit measures is knowing this basic information. Somebody give me a unit of measure. So just any, hey, just give me a unit of measure. Something we measure with. Uh, Don't say ruler. Inches. inches. How many inches are in a foot? Okay, so we can say what I just said, there are 12 inches to one foot, right? We can say that, right? Because that's true. It's a true statement. We can also say that in one foot, there are 12 inches, correct? Yeah. So there's two different ways I can say the same information. I could say there's 12 inches in one foot, or I could say 12 inches equals one foot. So because I could say it two different ways, I can write it two different ways. All right? Does that make sense? Makes sense so far. Now, let's put that into, into context. Say you had a sapling, a little baby tree that was 64 inches tall. Okay, your tree is 64 inches tall. How many feet is that? Three. No. How do you, no, we're going to do it mathematically. This is how we do it. Okay? 64 inches over one. Can we do that? Write that down. 64 inches over one. It's a whole number. What did I say I want to turn this into? I said I want to turn it into feet. And we said there are 12 inches in one foot, or right? And there's two different ways to write that. I need to pick one of these two. I can pick A or B. Which one do you think would be the one that I need to solve this problem? It would be the second one. That would be B. One foot over 12 inches. All right, so some clues to help you determine which one of those two you would need. The clues that you would need to determine that is the measurement you want your answer to be is always on top. We want it to be on, we want it to be in feet. That's always on top. And the measurement we want to get rid of is always diagonal, always diagonal from the one that we start with. All right, so inches and inches are both diagonal from each other, right? So we can cancel out inches and inches, can't we? You bet we can. Okay, so far so good? All right, what we're left with is 64 divided by 12 feet. We need to solve that. Because we, we can't leave it like that. We need to simplify it, so we're going to solve it. That 64 divided by 12, we said, 12 goes 64 five times. That's five and four twelfths, which equals five and one third. I uh, ran out of room. I'll write right here. Five and one third feet. I don't need a period on feet. So feet. Five and one third feet. And we got it done. So your one of your goals is to pick the correct unit of measure that we need to solve the problem. So here's a different one. Daniel, here's a word problem. Daniel is buying refreshments for a meeting. He wonders if four quarts of juice is enough for 30 students. Is four quarts a reasonable amount of juice for the meeting? If not, suggest a more reasonable quantity. All right, let's change this out. All right, so let's figure it out. Four quarts. We want to know if that's a reasonable amount, right? That's four quarts to 30 students, right? Or 
30 students to four quarts. And we could write it out two different ways. All right, now, the next part of this problem that we need to identify is this. How are we going to know if four courts is a reasonable amount for 30 students? Let's change it. To, let's get some other information out here. All right, that's not going to help us, the information that I have right here. That's not going to help us too much. But what will help us is to figure out how much is in one quart. Okay, one quart equals, anybody know how many ounces? Okay, let's figure it out. How many pints in a, how many pints in a quart? Four. No. Two. two pints in a quart. A pint is 16 ounces. So there's 32 ounces in a quart. Right? All right, so that's 32 ounces to one quart. This is more helpful. One quart to 32 ounces. Two different ways to write it. Let's change four quarts to ounces. So four quarts over one times which one? The first one, one quart over 32 ounces or 32 ounces over one quart? Third, one Second one. Remember, the one we want to get rid of is always diagonal from it. So 32 ounces to one quart. Notice it's a two-step problem. All right, what is four times 32? Quarts are gone, by the way. I've crossed it. 128. 128. 128 ounces. Okay? So there's 128 ounces. <coughs> now, how many students did I say there were? 30. Okay, so let's divide 128 by... All right, so 128. We'll divide that by 30. 128 by 30 students. 30 is going to go to 128 roughly four times, right? That's 120, right? A little bit left over. Do you think four ounces per student is reasonable? No. That's not even a cup. That's half a cup. So what could you say? What would be better? Uh, probably tied two. Eight ounces? Eight quarts then? Yeah. So maybe eight, eight quarts would be a better answer. So I'd say you should have at least eight quarts so that at least everyone gets a cup, right? Otherwise, you dip people, right? So that's what you do. That's how you do these problems. Here's a different one. Samantha drove 100 miles in an hour and 45 minutes. How many hours did it take for Samantha to drive 100 miles? She drove 100 miles in an hour and 45 minutes. All right, so let's figure this out. How much of an hour is 45 minutes? Well, what's 45 over 60, right? 45 minutes and one hour, that's 45 over 60, right? Reduce that. Tell me what that is. Tell me what this is. What is reduced 45 over 60? Divide them both by 15. What do you get? Three fourths. Three fourths. I said an hour and 45 minutes. So that's one and three fourths, or 1.3, so 1.75. Right? You can write it two ways. How many hours did it take her to do that? Well, we just did it, right? It took her one and three-fourths of an hour. Now, next one. Noel ran one mile in seven minutes and 30 seconds. Find Noel's time in minutes. Okay, seven minutes, 30 seconds is? This is easy. How much of a, how much of a minute is 30 seconds? It's a half, right? So she did it and seven and a half minutes, right? Did we, it's, it's, the question was, she did it in seven minutes, 30 seconds. Change that to minutes. 
We just did, right? To measure room for carpeting, Juan converts the length and width of the room from feet and inches to yards. A room that is 13 feet 6 inches long is how many yards long? All right, so first, 13 feet 6 inches is, turn that just to feet, 13 feet 6 inches would be 13 and 13 and a half, because 6 inches is half of a foot, right? 6 over 12 equals 1 half, right? So, the room, first he converted it to 13 and a half feet, or 13.5 feet, that's 13 and a half feet as well. Then, let's change that to yards. Now we've got to change it to yards, because he, it, that's what the problem told us. We, he converts it to yards. All right, so... Write this here, 13 and a half feet over one times. Now, we want to change it to yards, so is it going to be one yard over three feet, or is it going to be three feet over one yard? First one or second one? First one. It's the first one, because that's the one we want yards on top, feet on bottom. All right? Cross off feet. So it's a division problem. 13 and a half divided by 3. That's 4.5 yards. If you don't label these, these are going to be wrong, so make sure you label them. 4.5 yards. Questions? Okay, any questions on that? So pay attention to your assignment, listen carefully. Your assignment is to do all the practice, A through J, and then 1 through 20. So I'll write it over here so you are clear. So that is 53, A through J, and then 1 through 20. All right, so it's different than what it normally is. Sorry, 52. I don't know why I wrote 52. My fault. 52, A through J, and then 1 through 20. All right? So it's still the same amount. I just dropped 10 somewhere else. Okay? Any questions on doing this? All right, I'll give you your sheets for corrections. 